M first hurts my already hurt knee and then fractures a bone in my wrist. I got reminded of this encounter after reading a post, where an M thought that an injury from a bicycle accident was a knife cut caused by depression. Backstory, my family, with some close friends, have a tradition to go to Sweden every once in a while using cruise ships. These ships leave around afternoon from the capital of Estonia, Tallinn, I live there, and arrive at Sockholm, Sweden in the next morning. Then you chill in the city for the entire day and then go back. As I said before, we normally go with friends and family but around three years ago, me and my dad went to Stockholm with a biking group. I did some bicycle stuff for a short time, most of the going there part was uneventful. Just after we left the harbor, I got caught in the tram tracks and fell. I was riding a slim wheeled road bike. I of course fell onto the rock hard tarmac and got the skin of my right knee shredded. I was in pain, but my dad forced me to keep going, so I had a bloody knee the whole day. Then couple hours later, I fell once again and on the same knee. We were heading back to the harbor anyway, so we decided that we will go and find a medic on the ship. The real honking story, after I had my knee looked over and I had gotten something to eat, I chilled with a kid at the child play section, who had also been dragged with our group, he was a cool kid. He was understanding and somehow was able to comfort me even though my knee was making it hard to relax. In comes the M. We were mostly talking about video games. Well, duh, and we're just talking about Call of Duty, when the M springs out like the mole form whack a mole. BTW she didn't have the Karen haircut, nor the usual look, but she sure sounded like one. Also me is me, M is M and K is the kid I was chilling with. M, hi, what are you two talking about? Me, oh just some video games. The usual stuff, yeah no. K, yeah. We were talking about Call of Duty. M, oh I have heard about that game. Is that the Owen with guns in it? Me, it's one of the many games with guns in it. M, god, how many are there? Me, I really don't know. More than 50 for sure. I just threw out a random number. Of course there is more than 50. M, and you are talking about these games in here with children around. I should mention that most of the kids a around here were 10 years old or older and mostly just fooling around. K, many kids have played these types of games, so it is alright to talk here. Me, also it is loud enough here that we can barely hear each other. M, but you really shouldn't. Me, alright, I'm sorry. We can find some other place to sit. We get up and leave, but my jeans touched my knee, so I let out and quiet ouch and wobbled away. M, what's with your leg? Me, oh, I hurt it badly today and it's painful to walk around when the pants hit it. M, you are just lying, so I'd feel pity for you. Me, no, I am not. I drove around Stockholm with a bicycle today and fell. Now please let us leave. M, I don't believe you. Me, well, then don't. Please, leave me alone. I am sometimes jokingly called short fuse by my friends because I have a short temper and I was already feeling the frustration. M, alright, show me the proof. Me, I don't have to show you anything. The second I said it, the M grabs the bottom of my pants and pulls it up, meanwhile also ripping the wound, so it started to bleed. Me, ow, hey, you ripped the wound. M, oh, that's bleeding pretty badly. You should go and see the ship medic. Me, well I wouldn't have to if you didn't rip it. Also I might also to go and find the security because what you just did can be considered as an assault. M, okay, sorry. You could feel the I don't give a rap about you in her voice. So, I called K dad, so he would know where we are and then we head to the medic. He closes it again and then we go to the arcade machines to play air hockey. Then I get a call from K's dad, saying that K forgot his phone in the child play section, so we go back there. Someone found it and called the parent number. We got there and there are workers there waiting for us. I have no idea where they were when M hurt my knee. They hand over the phone and to prove its case he starts digging around in it to find any info. Then, suddenly someone rushes in between us and the workers. K dropped his phone, at least there was some carpeting, and I fall backwards. I put my arm behind me to soften the fall. It worked, but I get in striking pain in my left arm. I look up and see that it's the M, now with the kid. Me, hey, what the hell? M. You should have been more careful, worker, with what, where he was standing. You were the one, 
who decided to walk in between us. M, he already scarred my baby for life. He deserves it. Me, you were the one, who wanted to see my wound. M, lies. He forced to show me and my son his bloody knee. K, you son wasn't even there when you ripped his wound. M, he has been with me the entire day. I am not one of those crazy parents. Me, well one good thing with living in this day and age is that cameras exist, so we should go and see the footage. The workers, who now are really confused agree, so we are taken to the footage room. The video clearly shows me and Kay sitting, then the M comes to us, we start to leave, she checks my knee and we leave. The workers look at me and the M. M, he is a pedophile and is keeping this kid with him. K, if I wanted to leave, I would have done that a long time ago. Me, we are just from the same travel group. If an 12 year old is talking to a 19 year old, it doesn't instantly mean that the 19 year old is a pedo. M, but. Worker, alright, I think that we are done here. M, no we are not. Me, oh we are hella done. Workers, at least for now. You assaulted this young man and this is something we can't tolerate. Me, okay I will be going to my third medic run and then we'll come back. The medic didn't have anything cold to put on my arm, but he told me to go to the 24H sushi restaurant and ask for ice. After that, it was pretty usual for these types of stories. I press charges, she gets some heavy flack. So later on, we had arrived back to Tallinn and we were going to go and ride home, but I just couldn't hold the handlebar with my left arm, so we took a taxi to the x-ray just to be sure and lo and behold, I had a fracture in the wrist joint of my left arm. I had to wear a cast for a week and then some support contraption for another week. Honestly, I hope karma works because I'd love to see that M eat shit. After three years, only thing I have from that incident is a mark on my knee. TL.DR, M doesn't buy live that I have a knee wound, then proceeds to make it bleed and then later pushes me in a way that causes my left wrist to get a bone fracture.